February is the only month that feels like it is missing pages. It is not lazy design. It is history. It goes back to ancient Rome and a calendar that kept falling out of sync with the seasons. Here is the part that sounds wild, but it is Roman tradition. Later Romans said their earliest calendar had only 10 named months, and winter was a leftover stretch that was not neatly put into months yet. Later writers also credited King Numa with adding January and February to make a 12-month year. Now the year looked organized, but it still had a problem. It was about 355 days long, not the full solar year. So Rome tried to build months in a way they liked. Many Romans considered even numbers unlucky, so a lot of months were set to odd lengths, like 29 or 31. But the math had to work out, so February became the month that stayed short at 28. And because that 355-day year drifted, Rome used a patch. Every so often they inserted an extra month after February, called Mercedonius, to pull the calendar back toward the seasons. The problem was simple. The patch was not automatic. People had to decide when to add it, and that could get inconsistent, even political. That is how the calendar could slide away from the seasons. So Julius Caesar did the big reset. He introduced the Julian calendar built around the sun. It used 365 days plus one extra day every four years. He even made one transition year extremely long, 445 days, to realign everything. That reform locked in the month lengths that look familiar today, with lots of 30 and 31 day months. February stayed short, and it only gets the extra day in leap years. February feels like missing pages because Rome used it to fix the year, and we never changed it back.